food to the salesperson and still get into heaven. Absolutely. We're too, sometimes we do too much free. You guys can see the screen, right? Yes. How many of us do too much free consulting? Way too much free consulting. How many of us tell our tale of woe to the pro? Oh, well, I've been making all these phone calls. Boo hoo. How many of us are what we just discussed, subservient and submissive to the prospect? What happens when we are too nice, when we are too submissive to the prospect? Do Is it human nature to take advantage of us? Absolutely. They walk Absolutely. Away. How about follow up? Should we always follow up any conversation that's reasonable? Do we, fo we don't follow up, right? We need to follow up. Whatever you like, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, you want a contract or anything? Sure. But if I send you that contract today with the numbers and terms we, we discussed, what happens at 4.30 when we make that Zoom or FaceTime or Skype call? And then you listen for the maybes, probablys, shoulds, coulds, I don't knows. You've got to get specific commitments when you're, when you're working. How about excessive cold calling? How many people here get out the boohoo tissues when we make all those cold calls and all we get is voicemails, disconnected numbers, or we get some lonely person who just wants to talk about everything except the, except the deal? How many, how about excuses? Or begging, better, be begging. How, we talked about this a little last week. What's the worst thing a salesperson can say to the prospect? What time is convenient for you, Mr. Prospect? I'm in a sales contest and my wife's never seen Tijuana. Is this a good time to talk? No. Should I call in two weeks? Yeah, yeah, call me in two weeks. Then what happens after two weeks? They go on witness protection. They go, they ghost you. You got it. Um, uh, Mr. Scott, do you have a minute, sir? I know you're changing diapers and things, but do you have a minute of time, sir? No, I'm really, I'm right in the middle of, I got four diapers that are just blowing my mind. <laughs> what did those kids eat for dinner? <laughs> uh, gee, uh, gee uh, uh, Dave, uh, uh, Dave Skolnick, are you busy? I'm really busy right now. Okay. Call me in two weeks. I'll call you. Yeah. Boom. Boom. You, you cannot act desperate. Don't discount. Remember who members the role play? I think we did it two weeks ago or so. Discounting the deal when it's not necessary. Yeah, we're Horace. Okay. What's some of the good excuses that, that we use for not getting sales? What's some of the best excuses we have? She didn't like me. I'm sorry, Jimmy. The seller didn't like me. Oh, they didn't like me. Oh, I don't get along with that prospect. Listen, you give that prospect whatever you need. If you can make money today, you take on any personality. If they're a Republican, you just uh, you start wearing red ties. If they're if if, if they're on the left, you tell uh, you get get out your Biden T-shirt. It doesn't matter. There's only one thing that's important. What is it, Mr. Chamness? Going to the bank. Making money, money today. Today. What happens when you make money today and you go and you go upstairs to your wife and say, honey, look what I just did. Yeah. She gives you, you a pat confidence. on the head. <laughs> you can be anybody you want to be. You can be anybody Man. you want. It's all about it's all about freedom. Without sounding too materialistic, how important is it to make more money than you need? Very important. Pay those bills. Things happen in life. Have good health care. 